hi guys and how you all doing happy new year to all of you this is me wishing you a happy new year i pray this year will be prosperous for all of us this year is our year of abundance in jesus name amen so thank you for supporting your girl thank you for always really sticking to this channel for watching my videos i really really do appreciate thank you so much so guys in this video i want to talk about importation from china most of you want to import bags hairs shoes wares and lots more from china i understand that but there's something i want you all to get about this importation from china because sometimes i see people going to many importation without the right information like you don't have the right information and when you eventually import and bring it out to the country you're like ah is this how Mini importation is i thought it was very very easy because that's what i see on youtube and all of those this is me explaining it to you all again because i usually say it as it is just that sometimes you guys don't get it or there are some parts you don't like watching but this is me explaining it for you again Mini importation from china is it profitable of course it is profitable this is something you should go into this 2024 why not you can go into it you can make money from it but hold up let me explain something it depends on what you are buying and how you are buying and also how you're going to ship it down to nigeria these are three different things i've explained what you're buying how you're buying how you're going to ship it from china down to nigeria now let's start with the first one what are you buying Trust me guys, it is not everything you want to import from China. There are some things you import, especially mini importers, those that are importing just few bits here and there. There are some things you go ahead and import. And when you bring it down and calculate your landing cost, you will just get to understand that, oh, this thing I imported is actually quite expensive compared to what it is being sold by other vendors or what is being sold in the local market. And you'll be wondering, what's going on? what is going on the point is that you did not do your assignment properly i always tell you guys this if you want to import do your research know what you are importing know if it's a light weight product or a heavy weight product that will help you know the type of shipping method to opt for do you get it will help you know the shipping method to go for for instance there are some persons that will go import polos okay and do import up to 50 bundles and they want to ship it through air it's not wise like it's not wise at all to ship it through air because at the end of the day the price will be exorbitant the price will be very very expensive and when you calculate and we want to compare your prices with other vendors you'll be seeing that other vendors are selling theirs for four thousand for five you your own cost price will be at about six thousand or even seven thousand yeah so you need to know what you're importing for you to determine the way or the method that you should use to ship your goods that will be the best for you secondly let's talk about how are you buying are you buying from aliexpress and you want to buy and resell you must be joking because aliexpress vendors will not give you the best price at all yeah i know you guys don't want to hear this because you know aliexpress is very very convenient for you all see aliexpress will not give you the best wholesale price if you're thinking of buying in bulk you want to get wholesale deal think about 16.8 think about alibaba in fact even when you're using 16.8 and alibaba you still need to do research more and more to get those suppliers that will sell at the best possible price for you and will give you the quality you really want so you need to take your time do your research very well to get the best suppliers now the third is how are you shipping there are different shipping methods you can use you can use air you can use c there are some companies that will tell you that they have a and c again now there's something you guys don't understand when you're using c it is not everything you ship through c somebody chatted me up a few days ago and he was like oh he bought power stations in bulk that he wants to resell here in nigeria you know nigeria we are suffering power issue so he thought of it and he saw that okay power station will actually sell well here in nigeria and he went and ordered in but guess what most of the shipping companies rejected it it cannot be shipped through sea you guys know that power stations contain battery and when they are shipping through sea 
they have been piled up together they don't they cannot shape those heavy battery through see the best way to ship something like that is through um air and not just through air but going through hong kong you know hong kong they do ship battery goes why guanzu will not ship battery goes for you so you need to go to hong kong to ship it i told you see most shipping company will reject it and this one that you did not even buy one or two you bought up to 20 have been more than 20 they would not ship it so you need to go through air and when he calculated what he will be paying for those power stations he saw that man it is not worth it because what you'll be paying on each power station is over a hundred and something thousand euro so i want you to know what you are buying and another point here is this when you want to go into mini importation especially those of you that just learned mini importation and you know you are so so excited you just want to go into it you just want to fly into it calm down those people you learned from they gave you contact of shipping companies i guess yeah if you learn from me i usually give you those contacts now it is your duty so go and chat up those shipping companies contacts you've been giving okay and ask them for their you know their method of shipping their prices and what they do ship and you know things that they reject they will explain it they will give you a breakdown and explain all this to you just that most of you don't ask questions ask questions if you don't know something if you don't understand something ask them questions they need you as a customer they need you as a client to keep them in business so do your own part by asking questions to know exactly what you're getting into so that you will know what type of shipping method to use that will be cheaper for you and will be cost effective again there are some persons that will tell me only oh, i want to go into jewelry importation i want to just import few pieces okay for sample do i need to ship it through c of course it doesn't make sense to ship it through c I already told you guys in one of my videos companies that do say shipping they have minimum amounts that you're going to pay for shipping through sea even if your package is not up to it that's their leveled ground that's the minimum say it is hundred dollars so if you're buying two kg of jewelry like just imagine how two kg of jewelry look like and you decide to ship it through sea they might reject it even if they decide to ship it if it's hundred dollars you're going to pay them their hundred dollar to the fullest so it doesn't make sense now how do you know when to ship through c or through a one thing i tell you guys go and learn how to calculate landing costs like estimated landing costs now there's something you guys don't understand sometimes i see people calculating landing costs and when they are goods coming it is not exactly the same thing and then they chat me up they're like only i calculated landing costs and my goods is here the price is not the same please it is not going to be exactly the same it is going to be an estimate and also when you're calculating that landing cost i always really tell you guys add at least one extra kg or even two extra kg to your calculation because most time you do calculation with the net weight of the product not the gross weight when it has been packaged in you know um cartons and all of those now for those of you that buy shoe let me give you a very good example you see this footwear i'm holding you see this shoe i'm holding now let's say the weight of this footwear just an example let's say the weight of this shoe is one kg that's the single shoe like this is one kg now remember this shoe will be packaged in a what in a carton most people will package it for you in a carton and this carton on its own like this box on its own has its own weight so now when they put this in the box of course you don't expect it to be one kg again it will be more than one kg so that's why when you're calculating your estimated landing cost you're supposed to add extra kg for all this packaging now after putting it here they still can put it in a bigger box before sending it to your shipping company warehouse you see that will add to the you know to the weight that will add to the weight for those that are using c shipping you know we don't use weight for c what we use is what volume or space now you can see that there are footwear in here right you can see that when it's packaged in a box this way this box is actually adding to the space it will consume more space than when this is removed from this box and then packaged in a nylon pack in a nylon pack like this i don't know if i'm making sense that's why most time you see all these major import that they import some of them don't import with what box they tell the supplier i also do it there are some footwear i go ahead and tell the supplier please remove all the box packaging just put all of the footwear in a nylon package and then 
pile it together in a sack that will reduce the what volume even for air shipping it will reduce the weight so please you need to be what strategic you need to know the do's and the don'ts what will help you, you know minimize costs what will help you get your goods down here at the best possible price so that i can obviously sell and make money